Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rule for 6. Remember, when we're checking for divisibility, we're checking to see if we can divide without getting a remainder, so the given numbers work out exactly. We have four numbers that we're going to see if they are divisible by 6 based on the rule at the top of the screen. So if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, that number is also divisible by 6. So let's jump into number 1 where we have 312. So let's first check to see if this is divisible by 2. So if we have an even number, that means it's divisible by 2. So let's check our last digit here, and it's a 2. That means that that number is even, therefore divisible by 2. If a number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it's an even number. Let's check 3 now. So we need to find the sum of the digits, and if that sum is divisible by 3, then the original number is divisible by 3. So we'll add 3 plus 1 plus 2. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So is 6 divisible by 3? Can we do 6 divided by 3 and get an answer without a remainder? We get 2, so yes. 6 is divisible by 3, the sum of the digits. Therefore, the original number, 312, is divisible by 3. Since that number is divisible by both 2 and 3, it is divisible by 6. On to number 2. So let's see if this is divisible by 2. This number ends in a 7. 88,527 ends in a 7, so it's an odd number, therefore not divisible by 2. Since it's not divisible by 2, we automatically know that this isn't divisible by 6, because remember, it needs to be divisible by both 2 and 3. So there's no sense in uh, trying 3 there, because we know that it's not divisible by 6, based on it being not an even number. So on to number 3, we have 68,052. This number ends in a 2. It's an even number, so it is divisible by 2. So let's try 3. 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2. Remember, we need the sum of the digits. 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 5 is 19, plus 2 is 21. So is 21 divisible by 3? 21 divided by 3 is 7 without a remainder, so it is divisible by 3. 68,052 is divisible by both 2 and 3, therefore divisible by 6. So let's move on to number 4 here, where we have 542,040. So let's check to see if it's even. And yes, it ends in a 0, so it's an even number. It's divisible by 2. Let's check 3. So we have 5 plus 4 plus 2, plus 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 4 is 15. So we need to see if that sum, 15, is divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. It works out without a remainder. So 15 is divisible by 3, the sum of the digits. Therefore, the original number, 542,040, is divisible by 3 as well. So that's divisible by both 2 and 3, therefore divisible by 6. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rule for 6. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.